So here we are on my new Chromecast with Google TV, the device that has the world's most slipperiest remote control. But watch what happens when I press the home key. We are now in the all too familiar Android TV home screen, what you'd normally see on your Nvidia Shield. Now, lots of you have been asking for this for a long time because you really don't like the new Google Home layout on the new Google Home screen. You do have those large banner adverts showing different applications, recommending different video services, even if you have no interest in them. Now, of course, you could always install a custom launcher like the Wolf launcher, but lots of you actually prefer the stock native Android look and also things like your voice search. What's the weather in London? And just like that, you wanna make sure you can still access the native uh, voice search, but still have a home screen, which is not cluttered, which doesn't have any adverts, and is actually really, really fast. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this Android TV home screen on your new Chromecast. And I'll also talk about some of the disadvantages because not everything is working 100%. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process on your new Chromecast, just hold down the home button and then click on settings. And we're going to start this process by enabling the developer options. Now to do that, if you go over to your system and click on about, Scroll down and where it says the build, if you press the select button seven times, so one, two, three, four, and eventually it will say you are now a developer. And this then enables the developer option. So let's press the back button on the remote, scroll down, and here are the developer options. Now, um, I think I should just say one more time that if you don't know what you're doing, you can really cause some serious catastrophic effects to your device by messing about with the options in here. So if you don't know what you're doing, I highly recommend you don't play about with anything in here. Only select the stuff that I show you. Now let's scroll down and where it says USB debugging, let's now turn that on and click on OK. That's now all done. I can now press the home key. I'm now going to use an application called Downloader. Let's open that up. Now inside Downloader, we can use a special code to go directly to my website. And that code is just 53402. So type that in and click here. Now when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can use the Android TV home launcher on the new Chromecast. So let's open that up. Here it is, so let's scroll down. Here's the step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable the developer options. And under all of that, we have the three files that we need. We have my TDUK Launcher Manager, and this is an application used to disable the stock launcher and choose whichever launcher you like. We have the Android TV uh, mod. Now, the reason why it's a mod is, it's basically the native version of the Android TV home launcher, but it's been cloned by an application called App Cloner. And because it's been cloned, we can now install this onto our Chromecast. And let me just give a big shout out to Kevin Powers, who's actually the person that showed me this fix. And we also have the Android TV core services. So you need to install all three onto your Chromecast. So let's click on the first one, scroll down and click on the green download button. Let's press back on the remote. Let's get the Android TV home mod. Scroll down and click on the green download button. So that's two things we've installed so far. And click on install, click on done. Let's press the back button. And lastly, let's now install those Android TV uh, home core services. Let's click on that, scroll down, and again, click on the green download button. And click on install again. So we've installed three things onto your new Chromecast. Once that's all done, let's now press the home key. We're still inside the stock launcher. Let's scroll down and let's open up the TDUK Launcher Manager. Uh, here it is. Let's open that up. Now this is basically a very simple toolbox. And what it does is when you click on disable stock launcher, it runs two ADB commands. And those two ADB commands basically disable the stock launcher. 
So once the stock launcher is now being disabled, the next time you press the home key, you'll then see a prompt asking you which launcher do you want to use. So let's click on disable stock launcher. Now you'll see this for the first time, which is why we have to enable the USB debugging in the developer option. So click on always allow and click on allow again. And we can see on my device, it says that the active launcher is Android TV home. Now the reason for that is, is I only have one of the launchers. So once we disable the stock, the system only has one launcher it can use. So in my case, let me press the home key and that takes me straight into the Android TV home launcher. So do give a thumbs up for that. Now, when you do this on your device, you're not going to see any applications because essentially you're installing a new launcher. So it doesn't have any of your applications or customizations. You'll have to do that manually. Now, as you guys, I'm sure you know, if you want to add any applications to the list, you can go to the left here, click on apps. And let's say I want to add in uh, this application here. I can press and hold the select button and select add to favorites. Press back on the remote. Let's go to the very end and there's the application there. Now in terms of what's not working, if I go down to customize channels, we can see the only channel it allows me to customize or add is the play next channel. And even if I watch something on YouTube or Netflix, it never actually populates and allows me to see, you know, what's currently playing. So that's definitely one limitation of this. Let's back out of that. What's also not working is if you hold down the home button, on Google TV, that normally takes you to your profile icon on the top right, and you can quickly access settings from that. Um, so what is working? So application launching is working. Uh, the shortcut to uh, Netflix from the remote control, that still works fine. But the YouTube button is not working, so that must be tied into the stock launcher, because as soon as you disable the stock launcher, it seems to break the functionality of that YouTube button. But as I showed before, guys, the voice search is working absolutely fine. I can also use that to navigate around the device. So I can say, open downloader. So I can launch applications like that. Now let's back out of that. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment, hashtag Google TV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Show me comedy films. So voice search, uh, finding content and uh, navigating around your device is working absolutely fine. If I press the home button again. So it does look pretty basic, but for some of you who want this stock look, you definitely don't want to see any big adverts. You don't want to see any sponsored content and you really just want the fastest uh, UI. This is actually a, a pretty good launcher for that. Now, if for whatever reason you want to go back to your stock launcher, just open up the TDUK uh, launch manager again. I can now click on enable stock launcher. We can see that the active launcher now says Google TV. I can now press the home button. And just like that, we're now back to the stock Google TV launcher on our Chromecast with Google TV. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think this is a good V1 or an early release of the Android TV home launcher and hopefully it can be further developed, giving us more functionality, more integration, and make it more in line with what we have on the NVIDIA Shield. And if I do get an update, I will let you guys know straight away. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.